because of Jesus Christ. And so now we have certainly fell under a different heading or umbrella of grace now. And so, so thank God for that selection. I just had heard that this week on the radio. And, and there one song no better than I heard it today. No, no offense. <laughs> But, uh, but I love that song because it make all of us look and see what God did in our behalf. Because the, the song is true. Justice demanded that we should die. But then here comes along two twins. Yes, grace and mercy. And so we thank God for them because we are still proof of it today. Proof of it right now. Uh, grace and mercy. And so at this time, let us bow. Lord God, we thank you. We praise you for this time that has come, that we're standing again before that people. We pray that you will give us the power we seek. Oh, Lord, that your spirit will be able to help us right now, preach your word, and that we will depend on him, oh, Lord, to be, oh, Lord, the voice today. So God bless us. Use us now. And we give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You turn your heavy Bibles. We would like for you to turn to the book of John, the eighth chapter. I want to look at verses 31 through 36 today. John chapter 8. Verse 31, and we will end up at verse 36. Okay, if we're ready, let us uh, begin reading. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? Jesus answered them, Very, very, I say unto you, Whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin, and the servant abided not in the house forever, but the son abided ever. If the son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Amen. And just by way of subject, we would like to talk to you from this thought, the Son can make you free. The Son can make you free. Amen. Freedom has been the desire of all people of every generation. It has not always been an easy uh, thing to obtain. There are so many things that can keep us from being free. Because there are all types of things that can and will enslave us. People are physically enslaved. They are mentally enslaved. And most of all, spiritually enslaved. In spite of these conditions, they all are proof for the need to be free. Because one of the greatest enjoyments of life is to be free. And I think we all would just love to have that. And, and not just temporary, but for all times. And so free may be from whatever has got you bound. So there's a reason that you desire freedom. There's a reason that you seek to be free. Because there's something that has kept you captive. And most people don't realize they are not free like they think they are. Amen. You can be, as they say, what going wrong, looking normally, and, and even to us, it looks like things are just well. But I guarantee that there is something, something in our lives that is trying to keep us bound. Mm -hmm. And the reason why, because uh, 
Some have felt that they have mastered whatever it was that is ordering them or more or less holding them captive. But don't be deceived. Because you need to ask yourself, am I really free? Has the Son of God made me free? Because in our world, mankind has developed ways in which he believes they can free us. Any freedom that man is capable of is always temporary freedom. Yes. You, you search it today because I, I find it strange that those who may have been alcoholics and go through the Alcoholic Anonymous and, and they got procedures of trying to guarantee to you that we will keep you free from that for the rest of your life. And some even recommend what 12 step programs that are not sure ways of keeping us free. But the text, however, and, and look at it, speaks of someone who promises that you will be free in need. And, and, and that's a good thing to rejoice on. Because for him to say indeed means that it's going to be done. And, and there won't be no going back to being captive again. And so it is, it's good that the someone who is in the text is nobody but Jesus. And it's interesting what the Lord can declare, and not only that, and deliver. Because he is the truth that sets us free. He is the source of truth. And he's the perfect standard of what is right. He frees us from the what consequences of sin, and from self-deception, and from deception, most of all, of the enemy. He shows us clearly the way of eternal life with God. And so Jesus does not give us freedom to do what we want. And, and, and let us make that clear. <laughs> but freedom to what? Follow God. As we seek to serve God, Jesus is the perfect truth that frees us to be all God meant us to be. <laughs> And, and I don't know if you realize, brothers and sisters, that is a purpose God has for your life. Yes. And, and, and I pray that we don't die before we fulfill our purpose. Yes. But we understand that God has plans for every life yes. that is given birth into this world. And so therefore, Jesus is the solution to getting us free from whatever has us bound. Because one thing that the Lord makes clear in the text, sin has a way of enslaving us. Yes. Yes. Has a way of dominating us yes. and yes. dictating our actions. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I know sin ain't always the popular subject that the church wants to hear about. Of course, hell ain't a popular subject, but we still got to remind you yes. Yes. What, that the wedges of sin is death. Yes. Yes. But the gift of God, what is eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. So therefore we must come to the, the grips that if God wants to free us, we need to trust that he can free us from whatever that ails us. And, 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 and it's good to know that God wants to give us a chance to enjoy freedom that only he can give. Because God granted you in, 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 in the sin is, is restraining or mastering or enslaving you, Jesus can break his power over your life. Yeah, yeah. And, and I dare anybody to just surrender to Jesus. Because yeah, yeah. guess what? Whatever it is, he knows how to break it. Yeah. And, and I'm glad that the song said that there's power in the name of Jesus. And, and, and in that song it says what well, to break every chain. And I don't know if you know there are chains that try to yeah. bind many saints. Yeah. But the Lord told me to tell you today that whom the Son has set free yes. is free indeed. And, yeah. and if you need to be free, Jesus promises in this text yes. that I can set you free. Yeah. And isn't that good to know that someone who, yeah. who's able to do what a psychiatrist yeah. cannot do? What a doctor cannot do in your life. Jesus can set you free. And I'm glad that the text makes it plain today that 
that, that, that the Son can make you free. Oh, yes. Amen. And, and as we, you know, continue in His Word, what we learn from His Word is truth. And guess what? And that truth shall make you free. And aren't you glad the truth is the thing that God has ordained to free us? But guess what? You got to hear the truth in order to experience some freedom. You just can't have hazardly saying that, well, the, the scripture says that if you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed? And that if you know the truth, the truth shall make you got to allow that truth to come in your life. Amen. It, it, it's not something God is going to force on anyone. Because if you cry out to the Lord, I want to be free. Guess what? That's all he needs to hear. Because he got the, the remedy to free you from whatever the devil is using to keep you back. And isn't good like the Lord want us to be free? Because the thing that I see in the text, first of all, there's the truth of what he said. Jesus made it plain to some Jews. He said, if you believe in me, the key is this, if you continue in my word. And most of us don't know the value of the word being in the believer's life. It's more than just this coming together. It, it's more than just us fellowshipping and, yeah. and eating, beating, and greeting. Yeah. But it's more than those things. Yeah. We yeah. need to know that the word needs to come in us. Yeah. And Jesus said, if it comes in you, you got to continue in what his word says. Oh, yeah. And then, not only that, he says, if you do this, then are you my disciples. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And here's the first time he makes it known, indeed. And I don't know about you brothers and sisters, all of us are supposed to be disciples yes. of the Lord. And some may say, what well, is a disciple? Disciple is a learner. It's a follower yes. of the one that they believe. Yes. And I pray in the church that there are disciples of Jesus. Yes. Oh, yeah. They're not just members of Pilgrim Rats. Somebody should have moved from membership to discipleship. Yes. And realize that I'm a follower yes. of Jesus. Yes. I'm just not a member of Pilgrim Rex with my name on the church roll. I, I'm somebody that's following Jesus. And so therefore, Jesus had to convince to these Jews that if you are going to be followers of me, you got to continue in my word. And then by you continuing, it's going to prove your position with me. Because that's all he wants them to do. And then he, he reveals the fact that even this ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Yes, that's what he now reports to them, that if y'all are believing, if you can cheer in my words, you are my disciples, but not only that, you done heard the truth, and that truth has freed you. And I wonder in the house today how many of us can certainly say that he has freed us. Amen. If not, I'm here to remind all of us that the Son can make you free. Yes, yes and, and, and I'm glad they heard what the Master said because if you don't know it, Jesus declared that I am the way. But catch this, I'm the truth. Amen, yeah, yeah, I can stop right there. But he says, and also the light. But the fact is, he says, I'm the truth. And if you believe in him, then freedom is assured through him. And aren't you glad that, that the master was just trying to get an order now to these disciples that I come to make you free. Yeah. Because I know that the enemy is trying to keep you bound. And he's trying to keep you caught up in something that's contrary to what God says. But, but I'm here on the scene to declare to you that if you know the truth, yeah. it's going to make you free. Yeah. But now secondly comes the question of what he said. Now, now he had before him Jews who declared with their own mouth that we be of Abraham's seed. All right, all right. We are part of his lineage. We are part of his generation. And, and we're never in bondage to any man. Yeah. But now you say to us, ye shall be made free. That's what he said. That's what they questioned Jesus with. And, and they said it out of ignorance. 
Because they didn't realize he wasn't talking about no physical bondage. Amen. And, and hear me today, brothers and sisters. When, when the Lord wants to make you free, he wants to free you of something spiritually or even demonically that might be impacting your life. He's not talking about you being locked up behind a prison or being in chains and bound. He's talking about an emotional experience that has now dominated your life. And so they didn't understand where the master was coming from. But look at what he told them. He said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. Jesus was going somewhere because he was reminding them, brothers and sisters, that it wasn't the fact that you weren't like your people of old in Egypt. Come on, now. Listen, when they was in Egypt, they was under Pharaoh's hand. They weren't free to leave at will until God sent Moses along and said that, tell Pharaoh to let my people go. But they were so consumed with what happened in the past that they presently didn't know that Jesus came to spiritually set them free. Yes. And that's why he said to them, you don't understand that sin is still an issue. Yes. Because anytime we commit a sin, according to what he says, we become a slave of sin. Yes. That's all a servant is, is a slave of whatever it is. Yes. But then he says, and the servant is going to abide not in the house forever. Isn't it good Jesus was assuring them that you ain't got to stay in that condition forever? Right. That I don't the seem that's to right. give you freedom. Yeah. And that's why we say today that the Son can make you free. Yeah. You think about it today. If your life won what it is now, well. it's only because the Lord has made it what it is. Yeah. Because as I say, there's some of us remember how we were bound in something. Yeah. But it wasn't until the sun came along and made us free. Made us not worrying about that old habit we had. That old sin that ruled us. But now the sun has made us free. And it's good that the master answered the question. Yes, because now comes the confirmation of what he said. Yeah, yeah. Now you saw what he said. The truth will make you free. Yeah, yeah. But here comes Jesus in verse 36. Declaring with his own mouth. Yes, if the son therefore shall make you free. Yeah. You shall be free indeed. Yeah. Listen that's a good way to shout. Yeah. Because the Lord has made us free. Yes. There was a time sin was our master. Yes. And this is anybody that didn't know the Lord in their life. Because sin ruled us. Yes. Sin became a pleasure to us. Yes. In fact, we enjoyed just sin. Yes. That we didn't see no other way to do but sin. Yes. But aren't you glad that when our eyes were open? That when the master showed up, that he declared these words. Uh, that if the son therefore uh, shall make you free, uh, you shall be free indeed. Uh, I wonder in the house today, uh, is there anybody who know he has made you free? He has made a difference in your life. You're no longer what you used to be. Uh, but because of the truth you receive, uh, you found out that the truth can make you free. Uh, but not only that, you found out the confirmation uh, of what Jesus really said. Uh, that the Son, therefore, uh, shall make you free. Uh, and not only that, you'll be free indeed. Uh, I just stopped by to remind us today uh, that the Son can make you free. Uh, I don't know if you hear me today, uh, because once you know Jesus uh, has set you free, uh, we are to stand, therefore, uh, in the liberty uh, wherewith uh, Christ has made us free. Uh, listen, the Lord has set us free uh, and has now liberated us, uh, has now given us freedom. Uh, amen. Not to be entangled again. Uh, with the yoke of bondage. Uh, and I don't know who I'm talking to today. Uh, 
if I'm talking to myself. Uh, all of us uh, had a yoke of bondage uh, that was on us. Uh, and the only thing uh, that can set us free uh, is that the guarantee of the words are from the master. Uh, if the son, therefore, uh, shall make you free, uh, you shall uh, be free indeed. Uh, isn't that good news? Uh, no matter, uh, amen, how much the enemy uh, may have tried to convince you uh, to go back to the sin, uh, he can never undo uh, what the Son has done. Uh, how I got a witness uh, whom the Son uh, has set free uh, is free indeed. Uh, I don't want to fool nobody, uh, but it's right in the text. Uh, the Lord said in himself, uh, Thank you, Jesus, uh, for setting us free. Uh, our lives uh, are no longer the same. Uh, since you set us free, uh, have I got a witness? Uh, anybody glad uh, that you know in your heart uh, that you've been made free uh, because of the Son uh, who set you free? Uh, not because uh, of no program, uh, not because uh, of something that came along. Uh, but because of the Son uh, of the living God uh, who said on this occasion, uh, if you are my disciples, uh, continue in my word. Uh, and know that if you continue in my word, uh, the truth shall make it free. Uh, because you heard the truth uh, from my own mouth. Uh, because I am the truth. Uh, that's what Jesus declared. Uh, I am the liberator uh, of those who are in bondage. Uh, I am the restorer uh, of those who have failed. Uh, and all he wants us to know uh, who the Son uh, has made free uh, is free indeed. Uh, I wonder in the house, uh, are there some witnesses uh, who can testify uh, with your own mouth uh, that the Lord uh, has made me free? Uh, I can't speak uh, for nobody else, uh, but I'm now, that since he set me free, uh, there are some things uh, that's required of us. Uh, we got to walk right. Uh, we got to lead right. Uh, we got to do right. We can't take uh, this liberty uh, that he gave us. Uh, take it lightly. Uh, take it for granted. Because uh, he did not free you uh, to go back uh, for what you left. Uh, he freed you uh, to keep your eyes. Focus on him. Uh, the key press it on uh, to the mark uh, is in Christ Jesus. Uh, I wonder in the house, uh, do anybody believe uh, that the Son uh, can make you free? Uh, anybody here uh, know without a doubt uh, it's because of Jesus uh, I've been saved. Uh, I've been set free. Uh, my life uh, is no longer the same. Uh, the things uh, I used to do. Uh, I don't have to go uh, The place uh, I used to go. Uh, I don't go there no more. Uh, because the sun uh, has made me free. Uh, don't let it be personal. Uh, but there ought to be some saints uh, who I could get some. Uh, if it wasn't for Jesus, uh, I would still be back. If it wasn't for Jesus, I, I would still be locked up. Uh, if it wasn't for Jesus, I, I would still be caught up. Uh, but it belongs to Jesus, uh, coming along uh, and assuring us uh, in his word. Uh, if the Son uh, has set you free, uh, hallelujah. Uh, if he has set you free, uh, you are free uh, indeed. Uh, am I talking to anybody? Uh, Yes, uh, nobody in here uh, know that you've been free. Uh, but let me tell you, uh, it was Jesus, uh, that Savior. Uh, it was Jesus, uh, that rock. Uh, it was Jesus, uh, that one uh, who died uh, on the cross, uh, who went to a grave, uh, who got up early, uh, third day morning, uh, with power in his hands. Uh, anybody in the land? If I believe what he says, uh, if I take the truth in, uh, the guarantee uh, is I will uh, be free. Uh, I don't know about you, uh, but it's good uh, when the master uh, sets you free. Uh, when the master uh, releases you uh, from what the enemy uh, tried to keep you in. Uh, 
the Savior comes along and let us know all power is in my hands. I got power to take you out of what the enemy has you in. Have I got a witness? I got power to break the chains that he was holding you with. I got power to open up the prison door where he had things that were trying to keep us bound. So brothers and sisters, you praise God that the Son, and I'm just going to add this, can still make you free. I know the thought was the Son can make you free, but he can still make you free. Don't give up on the Lord. Some of us right now need some freedom and some errors. And I don't know who I'm talking to, but if we give it to the Lord, he can free us. Then we can now be right in his sight. So God bless you, saints. And we're going to get ready to extend the invitation.